elephant in the room. Uh, I have taken some time off, um, mostly for the fact that I did move, and now that I've moved, I got a little bit lazy and just didn't feel like uploading. Um, and during that time, I managed to hit 1,000 subscribers. For me, I personally don't care too much, but it's more so the fact that it's not something that's an ego thing. I don't really care for it. If I get it, I get it all. You know, if I get any more subs, I get more subs. But the one reason why this video took so long to like come out or even make or even think about doing is the fact that I know there's a lot of people that helped me get to the point where I am right now. And without asking anyone's permission or anything, I'm going to sling the few of the names that helped me get to where I am right now. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll give that a second. But there's one thing that like I, I never ask for subscribers. I, I don't I don't care for it. Uh, I upload videos because I like to make videos, not because I'm in here for a wage or a full-time job or something. But it kind of means something to me because people actually do subscribe. <laughs> like, you're all here on your own accord. You, you decided to subscribe. Not, not, my, not by my fault. Uh, I'll play the original clip that I did when I first came got announced that I got a thousand subs. Uh, I've been on the road for about eight hours today and I hit a thousand subscribers. This is my initial Woo Yazi uh, I'll put this in the video. Um I think it's like 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. Something foolish. Um, uh, currently, there's no computer and I'm sleeping on a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, when I'm in new place next week, yeah, content. Love you all. So yes, um, I first started making content with friends, basically by myself, but with friends, and both their names was Sean Smith and Dean Kirby. Sean Smith um, he kind of jumped in a little bit afterwards, and we started playing Dragon Ball Super. It's a new card game, you know, it's Dragon Ball. We all grew up with it. We really liked the game, like like the show and everything. So it just meshed. And um, Dean was there from the start. It was mine and his ID. I had already thought about making a channel, but Dean was the one who sat down with me and told me what I need to do. Like, I was just a little baby. I didn't even have a good camera or anything. And as you can see with the old videos, those those videos were like like thousands of dollars of equipment. Right now I'm just using a C92 Logitech in my phone these days. But um and the whole idea was that, you know, he brings the equipment and I bring the the me. And, you know, I've got a brain for card games. I, I can always figure out what's wrong with certain issues and card games and all that. Like, you know, a, a bit of an ego thing, but compared to my friends where they only played just because they liked the game. Um, so, yeah, and the, we had Dean and Sean. Sean was more of our editor. Um, so we'd record the videos and then Sean would at them we'd have to bully him um, and after quite a while recording at a store called um, Gamezilla which unfortunately did close down um, I got very antsy 
on the fact that we were only uploading once a week and I unfortunately I, I, I don't know if I don't think they care if I share this story I unfortunately pushed our boundaries a little bit too far and I did make a scene about the fact that you know if I can't make content then you know like I, I want to make all the content that I can but the two things that the, the thing that both Sean and Dean taught me is that quality matters so you know don't make shit videos just always always try and make the best and rather than posting every single like three days or every single day which is something I tried recently one it burns you out and two who cares if, if it's just a, a YouTube video that you come home and watch every single day it's not something you should aim for you should aim for memorable things you should aim for like like good educational or like at least something funny to watch but like not regular that 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 will burn you out but yeah so after after our fallout i stopped playing dragon ball super my friend stopped playing dragon ball super and i made a video and then i did what i kind of did on the side and i started trying making new year content um, you know, picking up all the editing skills that I learned from both Dean and Sean. Um, and yeah, that, that didn't work out too well. I just started making some really shitty videos and all by myself, basically. Um, so yeah, but there's a few other people's names that also did help at the start with. First off was my brother Tons um, and my, one of my other friends, Sean... Alan, both of them were in a few of the earlier videos, and you know we're just all boys making videos like that. That's what the whole channel was, and like you know f from from going from that to just solo content, I think was a little bit hard for myself. Um, but yeah, so after that, we we ended up making together like we're all friends. Like, at the end of the day, we're, we were all friends. We never had a lot of bad blood between us. So it was just, you know, I don't want to do this anymore because I can't do it more than twice a week or once a week. Um, but, yeah. And and then, out of nowhere, one of my friends recommends Flesh and Blood. Um, you know, a new card game. It looked really cool. Um, uh, the, we, I think we saw Dorinthia and Ira first. And I just fell in love with the whole aesthetic, you know, big, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I think everyone is, but, you know, my mum used to call me Elijah when I was a kid. <coughs> for Elijah Wood. Another big shout out to my mum. My mum watches all my videos. So, we got the approval from her. <laughs> um, yeah, what else? Um, but yeah. I found Flesh and Blood, and it, you know, started off with a little small community. Um, of course, everyone always brings back to the fact that I was the very first Flesh and Blood content creator, but uh, just because I was the first doesn't mean I'm the best. <laughs> I just like making videos when I can. Um, hopefully more in the future. Uh, I, I do plan on, it's just, when, when, when you don't upload for a while, you always want to make the best video that you possibly can because everyone's like, oh, Yazi's back or like, oh, someone's back. But, you know, it, it, it's too much pressure. And, and, and one thing, one thing, I love everyone and I love all my friends, but like, please don't bully me to make videos. <laughs> it's, it's too much pressure. Like... Man's got a job, man's got a life outside this, you know. Man also plays the card game as well, and other card games. <clears throat> but yeah, and uh, yeah, found Flesh and Blood. Um, and as soon as we got the starter decks announced, really finally, I said that I was going to play Bravo, because I was like, oh yeah, long hair, big burly guy. But one of my closest mates, who doesn't really play the game much anymore, 
he was like, no, I want to play Bravo. And I'm like, oh, you know, I don't kind of want to play the same deck as you are. So I was like, all right, I'll play Reiner. Because I'm not going to play a ninja because, you know, it's, it's a ninja. And uh, I didn't like the whole idea of just swinging with a weapon every single turn. And, like as Dorinthia. So this this whole channel could have been a Bravo channel if my mate didn't decide to play. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's basically the origins of of Yazi. Um, you know, we first started the Flesh and Blood fan page. I think I was like the fiftieth person to join. Um, I also, I think, I think I was an early supporter for the game, I forget. I think, I think ages ago when I was first announced when one of my friends told me about the game, I'm pretty sure I put money into it, I don't remember. But, I remember hearing about it really early, and I remember all the, like, the, the artworks, and they had like that, that sandpapery look, looking uh, artworks and all that. But yeah, and you know, now Flesh and Blood's just evolved into the most saltiest of minefields. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but you know, it, it's a good community. At least, at least it's not a, a very crazy one. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't been dead the whole time. I have been recording videos, and I, I like, I've got a few that I can show but I'd rather just do it like upload the video rather than spoil anything so there are some on today um so I went to a pro quest uh I'd like no this is during the season I played prism and I did my you know Yazi <laughs> um I I did a smash or pass on all the content creators uh, I've done a few others, and I, I don't know, there's a few that I have done, I just need to edit them and upload them after I probably make this. Um, but yeah, I haven't been dead, I just, the idea of making this video, because I, like, for me, I felt like I'm just going to screw it up, and, because I don't want to do a lot of editing on it, I kind of want to make it a longer video, one that someone will click on and then click off, except for the people who actually care about the video. That's that is for you guys. <laughs> it's for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the the support has been actually amazing. Just unfortunately, I'm I'm unable to do anything with that support unless my brain tells me to. And when I get back into the idea of editing every single week, which I think it's probably going to be two videos a week. Um, but yeah, I didn't go to the Pro Tour, unfortunately, I was smack bang right in the middle of moving, um, I think it took me close to about three weeks to move about a hundred kilometers, so about 65 freedom feet, um, to where I am now, uh, but yeah, um, I, 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 I was gonna do a shui, but I think it's very dumb to do a shui at 1 a.m. when I'm about to go to bed, edit, and then, uh, and then go to work tomorrow. But I think we'll do a shui for another video. Um, I've been talking to my friend again for another deck profile video that we can do. Um, so hopefully we got one of those coming soon too. Sorry, I keep changing the whole subject. I'm kind of just excited to make content again. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to quickly slap this up, put in a video, make a shitty thumbnail and probably edit three videos and go to bed. Thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. There's no 1,000 subscriber playmats. If you're here to subscribe, you're here for the content. You're not here for all the things around it. There's no shirts, there's no hoodies, there's no merch. 
Uh, but yeah, thank. Like I guess thank you, <laughs> like. Thank you for liking the videos. Right. Anyways, peace.